Welcome to Food Golfos, the first and only show that covers every aspect of this beautiful game. And it's our first episode, so we have to travel to South America to the second World Cup of Food Golf in Argentina. Welcome to Buenos Aires, Argentina, where 230 players from 26 different countries battle to find out who's the best food golfer in the world. And that's not all of it. For the very first time in history, eight different countries collided in the team competition. After beating Netherlands and Hungary fairly easy, the USA made it to the finals against the locals, who beat Mexico and struggled to win against England in an epic semi-final with a huge comeback and a win in the very last hole. In the end, USA claimed victory and became the very first team World Cup champion. Back to the individual competition, Christian Otero was leading the World Cup up until the last day. Otero kept his level up and was able to hold his lead, especially after hole 16 where Regis made a double bogey that gave the title to the Argentinian. Amazing tournament that sets a new era in our beloved sport. Having a bad day? You can't decide either to hit it with the inside or to punt? Tired of missing your putts? We have the solution for you! The Putt Box! The perfect fit for this beautiful sport! Convenient and stylish! You can have it in green, red, blue, orange and even the amazing transparent one! It looks like you're using your foot, but you're not! Even Christian Otero has one! Wow, look at that putt! Did you see it? Amazing! The Putt Bus! Don't be silly! It only works for putting! Call now and get the second one for free! Two Putt Boxes for the price of one! The Putt Bus! As you may know, dress code is something very important for every foot golfer. So in Foot Golfos, we want to analyze the outfits in the World Cup. The World Cup of Argentina showed a high level of elegance in the players' uniform. Most of the teams carried up to three outfits to Argentina. Some of them even arrived to Buenos Aires, showing the class that our sport demands. In Foot Golfos, we wanted to highlight the best five uniforms. Number 5. Argentina! The Gauchos were top class inside and outside the pitch, and their uniforms were very professional. Number 4. USA and England, simple and classic, keeping their look as golfy as possible. Number 3. Japan, great job by the Japanese who had the most fashionable player in the tournament. Number 2. France, amazing combination of colors and a hat that made the difference. And number 1. Hungary, lovely uniform, especially that polo shirt from the country that hosted the first World Cup. And remember guys, it is very important to respect the sports dress code. We are Foot Golfos and we approve this message. Hey, 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 hey! You could not do that! People say our balls are bigger. Well, they're right! I mean, look at this one. Today we talk about the Jabulani. It is probably the most hated ball in football history, but to us it's poetry. The Jabulani is one of a kind. The ugly duckling became a swan when it met our fellow foot golfers. It is the second most popular ball in the sport after the famous Spitzel the ball created for the 2011 Women's World Cup. The Jabulani was designed to have better aerodynamics than any other ball 
ever invented. And we can guarantee you that. If you hit it in the right spot, it flies. When it lands on the fairway, it will roll for some extra yards. On the green, you have to be very precise because it's super fast. If you hit it harder, then you should say goodbye to your par. Now let's see what some other players have to say about it. My ball of choice is the Javulani. My ball of choice is the Javulani. I like it so much that I, uh, I got another. I feel like I can kick it harder and I have more control over it. But one of the things I really enjoy uh, playing with this ball is the distance you can get with playing with a little wind behind. Very similar to the Adidas Speed Cell, um, except I just find it to be more predictable. And I also like the way it plays in windy and rainy conditions. Uh, it doesn't carry a lot of spin, good for straight shooters. On top of all that, it, it's made for men. You know, the Adidas Speed Cell is made for women to strike. Jabalani, this one's intended for a men's boot, so um, I'm gonna stick with it. And it's also the perfect ball to win you the World Cup, to win you the World Cup. <laughs> And this is a wrap. We hope you like our first show and remember to follow us in social media. This is Football Post. <laughs>